Should you buy Iono's Premium Tournament Collection Box? Well, the answer is... Warning! In the first portion of this video, my head is cut off a bit. Have no fear though, I do have a brain. I just recorded like I didn't. Today we're going to get into the Iono Premium Collection Box. And guys, I'm so happy and excited to open this because I'm... Your boy is... Hmm, oh my gosh. First of all, let's just say that we got this box at MVE collectibles you can see it on the screen and they have all sorts of products there you can get etbs the premium tournament collection boxes you can get other tcg decks that were played in like worlds and that kind of thing years previously you can get special boxes you can get mini tins and the list just goes on i mean it is a pokemon store based here in trinidad and tobago the first one in the entire caribbean now the Iono Premium Collection Box is not the first of its kind. There has been one for, I think, Professor Juniper. There's been one for Cyrus. There's been a couple of them, all coming in around 40 US dollars on the Pokemon Center website. And they're all so low. Even this one is so low. So we are lucky to capture this one. And because I purchased it here in a third world country, we paid 51 US for it, which is actually not that bad. It's, I mean, to get this from the Pokemon Center by yourself if you're shipping it somewhere else, it's probably going to cost you closer to 100 US. But for 51 US, we're going to be opening the Iono Premium Collection Box or Tournament Box, that is. So first off, we have the coin, the, I said coins, but I meant dice. And uh, wow, I really like these dice. Look at this, it's pink. I mean, Iono was always kind of like, I don't know, she looked a bit crazy. We also have the promotional coin for Iono. Um, I should have let you guys know what was in the box, but we'll go through it in a sec. Look at that. It's, I mean, these coins are really beautiful. I mean, I'll be adding that to my board. I have a board of Yuka Mora uh, card design illustrations. I really like Yuka Mori's cards. I mean, and this coin, I have the coins in the, uh, on the board as well, kind of complementing the cards. So good. Up next, we have what I believe is a deck box. Ooh, look at that. And it's not like, it's not glossy. It's more like a matte finish deck box, which is really cool. And these are side loading deck. This is a side loading deck box, which is unique to the premium tournament collection box set. Um, we have that Velcro looking thing. So we have our packs in there. And, and I, I won't show you guys the packs yet because I want you all to see it afterwards to see what we got inside of the packs. But what we do have is a separation inside of the deck box. Now, I was never I was never a fan of like these types of deck boxes because I feel like they're a bit flimsy. Even though it's a sturdy piece of, I don't know if that's silicone or whatever it is, like these edges wear out very quickly, I feel like. And um, I don't know, it all together just feels kind of soft however it is cool the compartments in this one because you can kind of store like your damage counters probably your die inside of there as well as your coin if you need to carry a coin and then fit your 60 cards in here very snug and perfect because i mean there were six booster packs in there so that's about 60 cards in there um yeah as you can so so, so i really like that addition to this product um, even though I don't like the, I don't know, the firmness of it, as I guess. I feel like my cards aren't safe in there, my babies. But if you don't have a deck box, this is definitely a good one to have. If you don't have one of those very leather hard ones, this is this could pass. This could, this could do the job in the meantime. Good. Next item we have is, oh, I nearly sold it out. I'll sell it out regardless now since I've already sold it out. We have the Iono Promo. And it's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's sealed. There seems to be four more in there. So as you can see, there's a couple cards and that's, it's not only one card. Look at the thickness on that. There's a couple cards in there. So look at that Iono alternate art. This is the promo. Really beautiful. I want to open it to show you guys what it looks like. I mean, a lot of persons pay for things like this, but I will open it because I'm not going to probably sell this but you know it's actually a very playable card so i'm gonna give this an open and see what we've received in there so obviously we have this card for pokemon tcg live 
I almost put one in front like if it was a opening, yes? Oh, oh my word. I don't know if y'all can see that, but the sheen on this, this card is almost like semi-metallic. It's a hard card. It's not soft. It's, it's definitely harder than a regular... Whoa, what? I don't even want to grip it too firmly. But, oh, I want to show you all my code there as well. If you all saw it, you can have it. But this is like, the regular cards are like flimsy like this. But this is like hard. It's like, it's firm. It's really like tough. Like you won't be able to bend this easily. And then we have the Ionos in the back there as well. To add to the Paldean. I think it's Paldea Evolve or something like that. But look at that. It glistens on the edges. So it's different. It's almost, I guess, holographic. And then it is stamped. I think all of them are stamped here. Yeah? They're all stamped with the Iomo, Iomo promo stamp. And then, of course, this card, which is... I still can't get past the fact that this card isn't... It's, it seems heavier than the others. And the last thing in the box is the promo sleeves. Which, apparently... Nintendo, not Nintendo, I almost said Nintendo, which apparently the Pokemon company has made a change with. And I'm going to show you the change. You can probably notice it already. But they have removed what looks to be the matte finish covering over the sleeve. So, as you can recognize, you can see this pretty clearly. They've removed that matte finish covering over plastic that's usually covering the card that dulls out the graphics of the card and they've replaced it with a gloss very clear transparent plastic that gives you that protection and also provides the beauty of the card to come through allows the beauty of the card to come through i really love that they made that change with these sleeves I'm not really a big fan of iono per se um neither am i a fan of this belly bolt i mean where are the eyes? Comment down below, guys. Where are the eyes? And now down to the packs. This is where the ETB wins because it has more packs. But this Iono box has six packs in it. And I'll show you some of the packs that they have. They have Temporal Forces, which is a new set. Like, come on, guys. Like, can't get better than that. Two Temporal Forces. So we got... I mean, we're getting to pull some new cards. Who knows? You can pull some A-Spec cards out of this, probably. You get a Paradox Rift, which was the set previously. Obsidian Flames, that still has some good playable cards in it. You have Scarlet and Violet, one pack, and then a Lost Origin. So they just, they've thrown in a very spicy set as well. I know a lot of persons are in love with the Lost Origin. And the, I mean, come on guys, you can never go wrong with opening a pack of Lost Origin. So remember, if you want to get all of these in one item, less than an ETB, I mean, you can head down to MVE Collectibles, get your pack because they are awesome. I love it. I mean, you can even store your stuff back in this box because it closes up really nicely. But without further ado, let's open some packs. <laughs> I think we should start with the... Let's go in the order that they gave it to us. So we'll start with the Temporal Forces. The only thing that may turn you off in these packs is that it's kind of stuffed in to the box that they give you the deck box that they give you which could crumple the edges of the card so hopefully none of them are crumpled in this case let's open these and see if we pull anything spicy from the iono set you flip it over yeah so we have energy water energy for the luck turtwig oh okay i forget i'm not completing that set anymore we have pochena and wiglet our buck Mist Energy, definitely going to be using that. I'm putting it separate one time, so I don't have to go searching for it again. Sandy Shocks, Behem, Hypermaniacs, Codebreaker, Holographic. Ooh, look at that. It's it's a hollow. Spicy. And we have Reverse Hollow, Golurk. And last but not least, the Coridon Ancient Stamp, Reverse Hello, who, who's going to be Zoom playing this card when it releases, guys? I mean, not when it releases, but who's going to be playing this card in their decks, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to keep those four separate. Jeez, I handle them like if they are pack a pack of rice. Boy. Okay, wait, is the better looking out of the two, in my opinion. But you guys can fight. feel free to fight me down on that. Put one in front, turn it over, and we have the basic dark energy. 
that is also always a good sign the dunce pass i mean you all know the new mechanic with this the dunce pass is well the dunce down like a clown charlie 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 insert clip here he gets to return to his deck after pulling three cards and then he can kind of just keep cycling through and keep pulling 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 i mean that's a good card snum mudbury we have mincino for the board going up there as soon as we are finished with this putting that there we have demise electrivia Cincino or chinchino you see that guys see that move there dangerous see that move there dangerous we have electrivier uh, let's put this to the side as well surprising i got an evolution right next to a lot the card that i pulled the smincino we have electrivier reverse holographic metang i saw this in a i saw this in a Dialga box, I believe, a Dialga deck, I believe, and that was some broken things. <gasps> we have the Iron Leaves EX Future Holographic. Is this holographic? It is. Jeez Louise. Look at that beautiful card, Radi Rapid Veneer. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn you may switch it with your active pokemon if you do you may move more any amount of energy from your other pokemon to this pokemon and then we have prism edge as well during your next turn this pokemon can't attack and that is 180 damage that's all right so right now we one for one and we actually pulled the legendaries i guess so far we pull a legendary Quote unquote. Scars and Valor doing their own thing. Then we have Iron Leaf. Good. Put that code card there. You guys want the code card? Let's give away this code card. You can have it. It's on the screen. You can have that code card. Get your Paradox Rift uh, booster pack in Pokemon TCG Live. Uh, let's put that off to the side so that I don't get mixed up as to which one was used already. I believe it's one card in the front for this set as well. There we go. We have the basic Psychic Energy Flamigo. We have Porygon. Oricorio. Toadstool. I mean Toadstool. <laughs> we have Slitherwing. Gorgist. Tatsugiri. Crustle Reverse Hollow. Bro, what? We got an... A super rare, I think. I, I don't even know. Illust uh, uh, illustration rare, maybe. A uh, Porygon Z. That card is crazy. Buggy Turbo. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads attach up to four basic energy cards from your discard pile to the Pokemon, if tails discard an energy from this Pokemon. Oh, damn. And this attack does 40 damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. Oh, my gosh. This card is crazy. Crazy looking. Woo! Look at that. Woo! Look at that holographic movement. And then we have Garganical. Okay, that was a good pull. So far, we've had hits in every box. So far, we've had hits in every pack. How is this Iono pack so spicy? This is my second Obsidian Flames pack that I'm opening. Hopefully, it goes well. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it goes well. Now, I'm not sure how Obsidian Flames is open. I'm not sure if I um, have to put one in front or two in front. But you guys can have that Obsidian Flames code for your Pokemon TCG Live shenanigans. Put that to the side. Put one in front. If it's not that, then okay, we did it correctly. So, we have the basic energy. We have the Club Brawler. Clefairy Yukamori. We're saving that one. For the wall, we have Capsicid, Tong Store. We are also saving that for playing. We have Dog Trio, Hong Stone, Diggers B, Reverse Holographic Labita. And I really like this art style, even though it's it's simple, but it's it does the job. We have Togepi, 
the first egg that I have received I received in any Pokemon game. You all should remember that. Probably your first egg as well, reverse hello. And Toxtricity. Alright, so this pack was this pack was a dud. Right? This pack was a dud. Sadly, it was a dud, but I mean we got these two things. And we have the Scarlet and Violet. Uh oh, Scarlet and Violet pack. This will be my first pack opening of this set. Oh, there's a white card behind. Now, does that mean I put three in front? Guys, I feel like I'm going to botch this up and mess it up. But uh, we'll figure it out. So, I guess you guys could have that as well. There's that code. Or you could scan it if you like. I feel like it's not one in front. But I'm going to check. Should I check? How can I check without checking? Okay. So, I flipped the correcting. So, I was going to put one in front. And it was we did the correcting. So, Fire Energy, this is Obsidian Flames. <gasps> another Yukimori. Spicy, this one is already a hit for us. We have another Yukimori. We have Flittle, Shroomish. Ooh, fix that. Next thing, I think I saw something spicy, guys. But it might just be a dark type card. Monkey, Pachirisu. Might have been this Bombardier. Hypno, Watrell, Reverse Holographics. Houndoom, Reverse Holographic, two reverses in this set, crazy, and Amaru's Holographic, not bad at all, not bad, not bad, not awesome, I wish we got, I wish we can get another hit, one more hit for the road guys, alright, Lost Origin, I'm not sure if Lost Origin opens the way that I think it should, I feel like Lost Origins opens the other way, but we'll find out, uh, so we have that code there, you guys can have that, okay, Please tell me it's one in front. Okay, it's not one in front. So it's one, two, three. I think. Four. Okay. Four. I almost bugged it out. Alright, so we have that energy. We have Surviper. Stonkfish. Box of Disaster. If the Pokemon V card this is attached to has full HP and is knocked out by damage from an attack, your opponent. Pokemon, but put eight damage counters on the attack of Pokemon. Okay, I mean that's awesome, but I guess it is a trainer card. Electric, Ghastly, Benacle, Murkrow, Yukamori. I feel like we get three Yukamoris in this set. That's crazy. We put them there. That's a hit for us. We have Wormpool. Oh, Reverse Holographic Hooper. That's holographic. It looks kind of non-holographic, but I guess it is Hooper. He's a mystical, right? Come on, guys. The luck is on our side. We have Volo, the evil henchman or the evil main man, I guess. Well, from Scarlet and Violet. Look, not Scarlet and Violet, no? Legends Arceus, actually. Discard one of your benched Pokemon V and all attached cards. This card is a beautiful art style. Shiny, holographic. I mean, the weight of it is... Also, now the weight of it is a little less heavy than that of Iono that we have there. But uh, this card is beautiful. I mean, crazy. All right. So, guys, again, I picked up this pack at MVE Collectibles in Shogunas. I'll leave the link in the description as to where you can find it. Or I'll probably have it up on the screen somewhere around here or down there. I hope you guys enjoyed this opening. Let me know if you do happen to pick up an Iono premium tournament collection box and did you have these kind of pulls in it like was it this awesome let me know in the comments down below it's your boy fab hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week until next time peace out